This is Cybert signing into the glow, the beautiful glow of that Tiberium. This is Kane's Wrath on the map, the Roctagon for a pretty stacked 4v4. Let's kick it off with the yellow screen on the left side. This is Drive. His teammate as the blue GDI. This is Amazarashi. Amazarashi? I'm not exactly sure. And as the Red Traveler 59, this is Desolator Trooper. Rounding out Team 1 as the Cyan Nod. This is Seven Days. Meanwhile, on the southern half of the map, playing the Pink Traveler 59, this is Shock Trepet. As the orange? Yes, as the orange marked of Kane, this is Mendo's. And as the purple marked of Kane, this is Booker. Booker Booker, rounding out this 4v4, the eighth player as the green black hand, this is UX No. UX No, I don't know if we ever figured out who this player was. This replay is a little bit old. It is definitely not R19, which as I record this is on the cusp of release. It is, I believe, in the last phases of beta testing, uh, making sure that it's all, you know, nicely packaged and rounded out and all of that stuff. Anyways, this is definitely a little bit of an older one. And UX No, I know this guy played some fantastic matches, going for a bit of a Reckoner rush. Double black hand inside of it. We'll see how Drive can handle it. A couple of flames. Tank's already in Drive's base. Dev Tank going to be absorbing a lot of the damage there. Easy kill for the Dev Tank. No big damage on any other structure. And Drive went straight for the Nerve Center. He is not messing about. He went for a Nerve Center and Dev Tank's right from the beginning. So he has got the firepower to deal with this. Reckoner is probably somewhere out on the map making its way towards someone's base. But it's not going to find much success in drives base it seems anyways this is a bit of an older one and ux no i don't know if he ever unmasked himself uh people were suspecting i don't know like unleashed or someone not exactly sure who what ux no ended up being but he played some good games for certain Reckoner deploys directly in between the War Factory and the Refinery. Perfect placement here, and Seven Days is 100% not prepared for this. Shredder Turret gets added on, but my gosh, this Reckoner has so much health compared to the puny guns that are shooting at it. Refinery goes down, War Factory goes down, easy kills. For the Reckoner, could probably get a couple of these power plants as well before the Reckoner actually goes down. The bikes really being the big damage dealer here to that Reckoner. Going to eject out the Black Hand squads, and they will get shredded, but they're going to be going for a second power plant before they die. Not much damage on that last power plant, but that will do it. Shock Trepet leaves a couple of descents in uh, UX No's base, and UX No is now going to be making a move for the middle of the map. Big, gigantic green Tiberium field in the middle of the map that everyone can fight over. And it's already happening as they cross the middle of the map. Marked of Kane squad's going to be going for the attack on those harvesters. And drives MCV getting caught. Medzone is going to get the kill there, it looks like, or get the uh, something there. As he swoops in with his bikes at just the right moment and, like, assassinates Drive. Drive, fortunately, has two gravity stabilizers. He's got two refineries and he's got two gravity stabilizers. And after that bit of... Of a, uh, a, you know, expensive start for UX. No, he is bouncing back well enough. Amaze Rashi going to be putting some pressure on UX. No, his own MCV is going to be taking a potential amount of damage here after going for the attack against Drive with that. And Drive has a couple of random dev tanks over at the base of Booko, just doing not a whole lot. He was hoping to sneak by unnoticed and be able to get some damage against some harvesters, but he did get spotted there by those uh, descents and cleaned up. Fanatics moving their way into the middle of the map. Descents moving out from Shock Trap. A couple of buzzers get called in to delete those descents and delete them. They do. Most of the descents going down to those couple of buzzer squads. Meanwhile, on the left side of the map, Drive is trying to keep up the pressure, drops the lightning spike, brings a couple of dev tanks, and the Storm Riders as well going to be targeting down UX Nose. 
Harvesters, no stealth for the Black Hand player. And that is what happens sometime. And in the back door, seven days after losing his War Factory, losing his Harvesters, uh, losing his Refinery, rather, striking back against Sock Shock Trepid, striking back against Mendoz. He has got bikes here to almost one-shot these Harvesters. Going to be able to clean up one Harvester, get some splash damage on a second Harvester, and clean its clock. Goodbye, Harvester, as the Seeker Tanks come in, as the reinforcements come in. Mendoz looking to defend that Obelisk goes down on the front line, gets deployed rather, as a Harvester explodes and a Maserashi has these Predator tanks looking for another target in the middle of the map. Red and blue in the north have taken the middle. Purple has taken the middle in the south. And that is how the middle of the map is getting eaten up by these eight players. But it's into the back door. UX No is looking for some revenge. He's taking some damage, but he says, I got bike buggy of my own. And he is moving in for the kill. One Harvester down. Amazarashi, he had the attack on the other in the middle of the map with his Preds. But it's not enough to stop this attack back at home. Drive moving forward. He's got the damage on the main base of UX No. Pretty much everything getting wiped out. Everything getting cleaned up. And it's going to be UX No moving on from the main base of Amazarashi and going to the main base of Desolator, which is also undefended. Predator tanks in the middle of the map as Drive has got his drone ship deployed in the middle there. He has cleared out UX No, and he is going to be able to put the pressure directly on the middle of the map, but not if these Spectres have anything to say about it. Tripod moving in from Desolator. One random tripod. Finds a Harvester kill, looking for a second Harvester kill, and the buzzer is actually what is revealing the stealth of those Harvesters so that Tripod can go for the kills, but it's no rest for the weary as Seven Days moves back out with his bike buggy harassment force, looking for the backstab on the main base Harvesters of Shock Trepid, once again trying to finish the job that was started some time ago. Seven Days now going to be moving out, making the same arc that he did last time. Harvester's once again going to be revealed, I think, by the buzzers, and now the bikes are here to defend. The tripod is happy to trade out against the bikes, happy to trade out against those scorpion tanks as well. I think that was a catalyst missile firing off somewhere, maybe claiming a couple of refineries, maybe claiming a couple of harvesters, as these refineries are quite close together, and drive will not be stopped. A couple of storm riders, a couple of dev tanks in the back door of every player. The lightning spike getting redeployed, and bikes are clearing out the harvesters in the main base of Mendoz, as he is going to be shutting down the economy of everyone on the right side of the map. Seven days, the mass bike buggy. He is here to clean out the main bases. No one is safe. Vertigo's making the strike against the Juggernauts, trying to let the Spectres do the damage from the distance, unopposed, as the Railguns finish up. And this Redeemer is ready to fight, but it's going to be the Shockwave Artillery that locks down that Redeemer and stops this Obelisk from taking part in this battle of Fresh Power Plant to get that Obelisk back online and to buy this Redeemer a couple of precious extra seconds. A Maserashi will not be stopped, or maybe he will, as the Spectres land a magnificent shot. The APC doesn't and get the kill with the mines and the orbital bombardment shoots to the right instead of to the left we'll get the air tower which is a great shutdown that is an under uh, an undervalued kind of kill there, killing off that air tower to stop those Vertigo Bombers. Of course, it can be replaced relatively easily as long as the Vertigo Bombers get off the deck drive, still flying his Storm Riders around the map. He and Seven Days have pretty much cleaned up the main bases of everyone and forced the engagements into the middle of the map where it is pure chaos, pure pandemonium as Bike Buggy swarms around Flame Tanks and Eradicator Hexapod is going to be on the way as Vertigo Bombers continue their single unit strikes against the team in the north. Vertigo Bombers, definitely an underrated unit by a lot of people. They do not realize how powerful they are until your opponent shows up with a couple of them and takes out your whole line of juggernauts. 
the team in the south will not be stopped as these bikes may actually get a kill on a harvester here that rage gen may have done a lot of damage here shock troopers coming forward shock trepid is here with the shock troopers to bust his way into the front door the team in the north has collapsed they were so close to being able to break through into the team in the south but the middle of the map was where the name of the game was and unfortunately for the team in the north stealth tanks are now cutting down drives tier three and drive who has been trying to get himself into this game trying to be an asset and an ally is just getting dunked on time and time again stealth tanks coming back in looking for the second kill on tier three these are not even tib core stealth tanks these are boring old original stealth tanks from Boca, who hasn't been doing as much on the in the back door because he has been holding down the front line of the team in the south he grew big into the middle of the map and he has been going just crazy with the artillery going crazy with the redeemer and pushing it even further forward with those obelisks as well it's going to be a couple of sh uh, shard walker seekers shard seekers and storm riders coming into the base of shock trepid he does have a little bit of stealth detection being added here by Booker, but that is not going to be enough Bike Buggy swinging down the left side of the map and Drive is looking to escape from the middle and set himself up somewhere else so that he can try and make a home that won't get immediately broken into and destroyed. And as this Redeemer marches on forward, big thanks to the folks who support the channel over on Patreon. Those Vertigo Bombers not as good against buildings. I actually know that might have been the Spectre Artillery who uh, fired off those shots. Big thanks to the folks who support the channel over on Patreon, such as Oz Media, Media Storm, Deadly Shadow, Anoxic, Freddy Eye, and Spud, as well as newcomers to the Patreon, such as Jesse, Nikola Tesla, Smelly Butt, Chris A, Abalaba, Autoric C, and Mr. Calhoun. I didn't make up any of those names. Rage Gen fires off once again in the middle of the map, and Drive is going to be crossing now through the middle. I'm not sure where his units are going, but they're going to be passing by a whole ton of infrastructure that they literally do not have the time to kill it would take them a while to chew through all of those buildings as the specters start leveling desolators mcv or a mazarashi's mcv excuse me and he body blocks with a tier three what a move body blocking for your mcv with your tier three and i do not think that will be enough the tip core has finished up for seven days as he goes for the kill on mendoza's tier three and he's may get it but will it stop this frontline assault this owl out attack drive trying to find an open back door and it's going to be up to ux no and booker to drop the mass base defenses to try and stop drive who has finally got a tier three up in ux no's original main base but is that going to be enough to stop the front line because this Redeemer and this Redeemer from UX No are marching on forward. The middle of the map has been eaten up. There's barely any Tiberium left. It is guarded by laser turrets. It is guarded by obelisks as well. Drive has been fighting over scraps for pretty much the entirety of this game. He almost never got up to that full power drive. He never got a big army and he never got a fully saturated mineral line as it seems like and wow two double or two fully heroic bites bikes and a double vet bike as well killing off a redeemer engineering facility in the back of the base and then escaping through the back door warp chasm gets added on there is still some vision here from our team in the south which if they keep this push up they might become the team in the north storm riders coming back through and this mass bike buggy is going to be able to break through the obelisk no barely it doesn't as the rage gen fires off scaring away this army and shock trepid goes for the capture on desolators Husk, oh man, what a kill, what a kill. You're going for that husk and then your ally kills the husk right before your engineer gets the kill. These bikes may trade out their lives against the shredder turrets and it's going to be chased down from these shock troopers blink forward from shock trepid double blink as he goes for the kill on these bikes three fully heroic bikes just scrolling around the map evading all targets the blink forward once again but the damage isn't enough and now they've stopped moving that might be the death now for these units 
as they will expire against the Shock Troopers. They just don't have enough HP, even fully heroic as they are. Mass Buggy going for the kill. A couple of bikes in here as well. The buggies are there to distract the Obelisks, and the bikes are there to kill the Harvesters. An MCV walking its way to the front lines. Booka with another MCV just making his way alongside his mass uh, supercharged particle beam venoms as they just march their way forward and team south is about to be team north but drive is not giving up he has got a shock trooper a descent squad inside of there and then something else as well and uh he is ready to go with that eradicator hexapod ux no has lost his foothold Booker has functionally lost his foothold and the game has actually, surprisingly, slowed down just a slight bit. No, the Shock Troopers going heroic themselves, cleaning up bike after bike. Three fully heroic Shock Troopers from Shock Trepid. If there is a better combo, then I don't know what it is. And oh boy, what a bizarre twist this game has turned into, like almost an outside versus inside, as these guys have just have barely any Tiberium left under on the map and under their control. Drive actually has uh, this bit of Tiberium. He needs to send perhaps all of his harvesters right there. Booka has pretty much decimated the middle of the map from Team on the North, and Booka has just been growing bigger and bigger and bigger in the middle of the map, taking over more and more of the map. Drive, on the other hand, I mean, he was given some infrastructure when someone on one of the other players, Amazarashi, I guess, left the game. And so he gained a bit of infrastructure there, but it has not been doing a ton for him. He's got a couple of units out on the map. He's got a little bit going for him, but not like we normally see Drive with, you know, a big army and a strategy that actually works. Meanwhile, Drone Platform going to be getting eliminated if it doesn't fly on out of here, and it may be too late because if it lands the right shots, it might just die during takeoff. The Spectre Artillery and the Redeemer will get the kill. It looks like one way or another, as Desolator Trooper is going to be losing his drone ship and then probably his Tier 3 shortly after. Venoms, it seemed, find, find a kill over on the left side of the map. And Drive, oh, calls in the support power as he stops the flame tank and Shock Trepid tries to go for the kill on the Mastermind, but it just doesn't work out. Drive manages to keep control of that Mastermind, keep control of that flame tank. Rage Gen going to be popping off. There isn't much around this Redeemer, but at the very least, I guess it is causing these dis uh, Devastator warships to turn around and run. Shock Troopers pushing on forward. They've got their blink packs. They've got all of their upgrades. They are ready to go. Plasma Disc Launchers and these Venoms are going to be chasing down the Devastator warships. Drive is still in this. Desolator is still in this. Seven Days is still in this. But it is feeling less and less likely that they will be able to mount a significant defense. Desolator now has a drone ship on the south side. He's got a prodigy as well. So uh, might be going for a bit of hexalaming. Might be trying to uh, save this Eradicator Hexapod as the EMPs land again and again and again. And it looks like the Rage Gen is going to be keeping these units away from the front line as Drive's Eradicator Hexapod absorbs all the damage that it can and explodes. Goodbye, this flame tank. Fully Heroic is now going to burn its way through a couple more buildings before it eventually goes down to, like, the Obelisk or something. The EMP lands there, and it's going to be up to these Venoms to get the kill, or I guess just the uh, Enlightened Squads, as they clean up that Flame Tank. Booker with his non-stop Redeemer. This guy has been around for so, so long. Forcing the sell off of some high tech structures and I think a war factory as well. As this is just turning into not much chance. Wow, Drive is still fighting it out. He is putting buildings absolutely everywhere. He's going to buy as much time as he possibly can. As long as he keeps this tier three alive, he might have enough time to get out this Eradicator Hexpod. But no, the Redeemer is going straight for it. And that is going to be the end of that Eradicator Hexapod as that Tier 3 expires. Goodbye, 
Eradicator Hexpot, all of that progress made for nothing. Flame tanks from UX No just spreading out around the map. Some of them getting captured by the mastermind of Drive. Others of them finding their mark and burning down buildings. And that Venom going deep into enemy territory for the random kill on that mastermind. You just follow the trail of energy that leads back to that mastermind. And that might be the end. No, Drive has got a new tier three. He's got a new Eradicator Hex spot on the way. He just will not give up as this guy is used to fighting out 1v1s and 2v2s and being phenomenal. And here he's just getting bullied and badgered and pushed around. And yet, he is resilient. He is non-stopping. He is going for it. Seven days somehow has a Redeemer in the middle of his opponent's base. He's got the Flamer on it, and he is burning down that Tier 3. And it looks like we are not going to have any EMPs online to save that Tier 3 from Shock Trap. But there's going to be the Teleport away. I'm not actually sure where this guy went. He blinked away somewhere else on the map, way down in the south, next to the Prodigy of Desolator. And this is like the last remnants of this band. They are spread to the four corners of the map, all along the edges, and they're going to try and fight it out scrappy style, tooth and nail to the absolute end. I can't imagine them taking the win at this point as the flame tank of UX No continues to get more and more kills. Seven days forced to sell off a bunch of infrastructure. And if he loses all of those buildings, then his redeemer will go down as well. He did drop a, uh, a tier two over on the other side of the map. If he doesn't have a war factory, then his MCV going down is going to be the end of the road for him in terms of production. And that is a fully heroic black hand flame tank that is going to be trying to burn down harvesters instead of just burning down that MCV that it is right next to. And honestly, that MCV might just pack up and get blinked away uh, by that prodigy. Stealth tanks joining the fight, but it's mostly up to the supercharged particle beam venoms, it seems, as you, uh, as Buka and Mendo's, both of those Marked of Cain players, are just bringing the white hot lasers to that Redeemer. And there's the blink away once again, I think down to the, down somewhere, as that Redeemer gets saved once more. MCB, it seems, has finally fallen. Got a tier two, got a crane, got a couple of power plants as well. I can't imagine there's a lot of cash left in the bank for these players. Uh, Lightning Spike gets deployed there by Desolator. I'm not sure how much he's hoping to gain, possibly just scouting and a little bit of vision to be able to see what's going on. All right, Drive is still in this. He has got himself a, uh, a Eradicator Hexapod. There is this Redeemer, which is just going to march its way through. I would love to see it come back from the team that was in the north to bring it back from this point. It does feel close to impossible, but that would be a phenomenal kill. And it looks like that is a Stealth Redeemer. So he's got the Stealth upgrade there, the Stealth Field granting him the ability and, uh, well, that nerve center is going to survive a little bit longer, but eventually these Tib core stealth tanks will break it down. The Redeemer from Seven Days is actually doing a lot of damage in the middle of the map. Spectres starting to close in. Venoms are here as well. Shock Troopers from Shock Trepid, and it's going to be a double Redeemer. Goodbye, second Eradicator Hexapod. You lived a good long life of like two minutes, and you are now gone. There's the teleport away. UX No brings his Redeemer back to the front line to kill off a Prodigy, it looks like, and to save an MCV, perhaps, as... Booker is just trapping this. Is he trapping this Redeemer with just like mass buildings? I'm not actually sure what the plan is there. Drive is technically still in this game. And he actually drops his drone ship somewhere, gets the Redeemer engineering facility and like, I don't know, teleports his drone ship in or something. He drops a portal and he is still just going for the absolute limits as he's going to try and get an engineer out, start capping some buildings. There is a Redeemer here marching around stealth, drawing all of the attention, trying to distract people. And no, Seven Days is actually the one uh, as Drive has been defeated. Seven Days gets his stuff and I think that's going to be game. 
but uh well it was a good one but it has to come to an end at some point and there's the gg ultimately shock trap at ux no mendoza and Booker, who actually i think we're all still in the game at the end there claim the victory the 4v4 on roctagon just pure mayhem and chaos definitely not like the highest level game we've ever seen but a fun one for sure thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and this is cyber signing out